Alrighty then. We have a question. And that question is, is soul power entertainment? What is soul people? And we're going to answer these questions by showing us how soul power come into being. What also must be understood is because I lived this, I don't have to be taught this, I lived this during the cries of black power, there was a cry for soul power going on at the same time. If soul power was entertainment, but black power was some type of revolutionary uh, movement or activity, then why would soul power be mentioned in the same breath as black power? And what happened to soul power? We got a few minutes here. Let's try to do this. I am saying to us that soul power is the culture of the descendants of slaves born in America, those who were once called Negro, those who uh, are called Black or African Americans. It is the culture. And that is why soul power and Black power was family. They both were the same. It is culture. What is culture? Well, here it says, culture is the customs, the arts, social institutions, and achievements of a particular nation, people, or, or other social group. Technically, unless you are a free person, you cannot develop culture. You develop subculture and your all these things I just mentioned. Basically, what you're doing is responding to the culture. So in in black culture, you will see if there's Miss White America, you will have Miss Black America, uh, white colleges and universities. You will have black colleges and universities in the same type of style because it is a subculture. A slave cannot create culture. A slave can only try to mimic the institution that has enslaved. So we have prison culture, but a prison cannot develop culture, prison culture mimics or is based upon the culture of those who are incarcerated, what they knew, they continue that, and then they revise and change to fit the new environment of prison. So this is what you see in the early stages of what is called soul power. You see on the slave plantation, the enslaved, they are taking what they learn from their uh, captors and they are mimicking what was given to them or what they see from those who have captured them.
Culture is the acquired knowledge people use to interpret, experience, and generate behavior. Culture from the Latin culture stemming from colere, meaning to cultivate. Generally refers to patterns of human activity and the symbolic structures that give such activity significance and importance. So the slave master had a way of life and culture basically is a way of life. So the slave master had a, a way of life and if you were the slave, there was a way of life that you follow. Within a culture, the people develop language and on the slave plantation, the slaves began to develop a language so they could speak to themselves without the knowledge of the slave master. The beginning of culture. Festivals, they recognized and created their own uh, ways of celebration and uh, because they did not have uh, religion in the first few hundred years of slavery, but when they did, it became part of slave life, uh, Christian rituals and ceremonies. Of course, the holidays that the slave master allowed us to have, our ancestors, uh, the pastimes, and of course, food is very important. Soul food, we know what that's about. And even in 2021, we love soul food. And we have revised it so it's not as greasy, it's not as uh, unhealthy as it was uh, during the time of slavery, and architecture. But of course, we don't build our own houses and structures uh, as a free people, so that is something that we sort of miss out on. We really don't see the development of, of architecture because these aren't a free people. But even so, it begins as slave culture, then upon freedom or the setting loose of our ancestors, it became Negro culture and then black culture. It is all the same, it's just the changing of the name because the, the lifestyle the culture, the behaviors, the festivals, all that, all those things that make up culture remain the same. However, if you are a free people, this is where it turns. This is where soul power comes in. The actual origins we know is spiritual, but soul is more than a song and dance. Soul is more than entertainment. Soul is culture. You got soul. During the time of soul, even you could see in the individual. And if you watch some of the old 1970s sitcoms, brothers and sisters, we were a people, but everybody was expressing their own creativity, their own, their own swag, their own walk. Brothers could impress the females because of their cool walk. And we developed our own slang, our own way of saying things. Our own language to the point where there's a dictionary dedicated to those words, crib and fox. What do you mean by that? Because, okay, what are they saying? All this origins from the slave plantation and evolves. But soul represents the first time. Oh, wow. Soul represents the first time a free people begin to express themselves as a free people, I want to present to the world my own originality, my own uniqueness. I'm brand new. 
This is who I am. And so it doesn't make any difference about your ancient origins, whether you came from Kemet, Timbuktu, ancient Ethiopia, or you are Aboriginal, or none of these, or you are ancient Hebrew. All those things mean nothing because all this fall under the banner of soul. You are a soul brother and sister, but I'm comedic. I'm a soul brother and sister, but I'm a Christian. That does not affect because soul is a culture. Soul is a lifestyle. Many of us grew up eating soul food and listening to our, our music was special. When you said soul, it was unique only to us. And that is how you operate when you are a free people. But in the 1990s, there was an effort to destroy soul, and it was destroyed. By the time we enter the 2000s, soul power was destroyed. And so now you see us, instead of acting as a free people, evolving, embracing our own uniqueness. Now we want to be other people. But during the time of soul power, and we were finding ourselves embracing who and what we are all over the world, people wanted to get on the soul train. I want some soul. I got soul too. But nobody wants to be you now. You want to be them. I want to be an African. I want to be an Aboriginal. Hell, I want to be white. I want to be a Japanese. I got Japanese blood. You want to be everything except who and what you are. Embrace your own self. So yes, soul power is entertainment. That's part of our culture. Our music. But it's much more. It's our food, our behavior, how we look at life. It's us, how we get up and do our thing. Now you want to be others. And at one time, they looked up to us like, wow. They got soul. They got that swag. They got, we got our own unique walk. Now you want to be a robot. You want to be a plagiarist. You want to mimic. You want to copy. You want to be a follower instead of a leader. Soul power represents leadership. And so this is not to say, because in all cultures, you borrow from other places. And you will see this all over the world. But that is not you. You bring that into you, but you don't try to become it. That from what you bring from the outside becomes you. But what we're being shown today and being told today that we should become part of something else that we never was. And they want you to abandon and ignore the special person who we are and what caused us to come into being. They don't want us to be free. They don't want us to express our life because soul is life. Soul is the essence that gives a body life. They want us to be zombies and the walking dead. So soul power is not entertainment. It is the expression and the culture of a people who have become free.